Hey guys, Sleep Grandma here. I'm going to try to make my videos a little bit shorter because apparently most people have the attention span of a gnat. So, I'm going to make them a lot shorter or cut them in half. You know, I'm just getting into the topic and, uh, anyway. Apparently, uh, they listen to like 15 seconds of it and then they're on to something else. Jeez. Alrighty. Will do. Hey guys, the reason I'm laying here with my legs up is because um, I lay on the floor, I put my legs up on the bed, and that helps all the blood drain back up my legs instead of like over um, charging my feet. And um, I think my mom or my aunt told me this like, I don't know, 40 years ago, and I've been doing it ever since, and um, it really helps my legs not hurt and I don't have any varicose veins and, and as you know I'm 63 years old no varicose veins um, my legs don't hurt um, but every time they do start to hurt I put them up I, I I try to do it every single day but you know sometimes you know you get busy anyway um, I really recommend it especially if you um, you know work on your feet you know like you're working a store or something where you have to be standing or a teacher or something like that. So that's just a tip bit of advice. But anyway, I, what I wanted to talk to you about is sponsorship. How important is sponsorship? Sponsorship is super important because um, that person's going to guide you through the process of the steps. That person's going to show you what techniques they've used to stay sober and to get well. And, um, it's very important that you trust this person and it's very important that you stick with that person unless they're really horrible but usually it's not them it's you um, my sponsor when I first met her we um, it was a little bit you know um, I had wanted this other woman to be my sponsor and she wasn't available so she recommended her sponsor so when um, she introduced me to my sponsor uh, my now sponsor uh, the woman just kind of looked at me like, mm, whatever. And I was like, ooh, I don't know if I should stick with this woman because, you know, she doesn't look like somebody I'd hang out with. And um, I don't know, but, but I thought to myself, I trusted God, okay? And I thought to myself, okay, Jehovah, if you think this is the person that I should be guided by, then I'll do it. You know, let me just walk in faith, okay? And I stuck with her, and let me tell you, man, Love that woman, okay? Love her now. Um, she really listened to me. She gives me good advice. She keeps it simple. I don't have to call her every single day. Um, she doesn't require that, but you know, you your sponsor may require you to call them every day. But um, she really, uh, I know she's there if I need her, and she checks on me once in a while, you know, I mean, every Monday night, my Monday night meeting, I get there early to help her set up. And right now we're cleaning off the tables and everything. Um, because of the COVID-19, we're all wearing masks and everything. But um, I help her, you know, take out the books, hang up the sign, you know. Um, and lately I've been le leading that meeting because she asked me to. And, um, you know, so it's kind of like I see her every single week. But... Before she goes on vacation, she checks with me, you know, are you good? Is everything okay? Um, but see, this is a big mistake a lot of people make. It is not her responsibility to check on me and my sobriety. It's my responsibility to check in with her. Now, I'm very appreciative of um, her taking time out of her life to help me with my sobriety, okay? She is... Um, you know, taking time away from her family to help me. So, hey, I'm very grateful for that. Um, so I, you know, call her. If I call her, if she's available, she'll talk to me. Um, when she gives me assignments like, you know, I want you to do this. I want you to write about whatever. I have to do that homework because that's part of being a sponsee. Now, I know someone that, um, and this happens all the time, Someone that um they go to one person, that person doesn't tell them what they want to hear, so they change sponsor, go to another person. That person tells them what they don't tell tells them what they don't want to hear, 
And so they go to another person. So um, as a matter of fact, I know one individual that went through the whole clubhouse. We were all her sponsor. She never did any of the work. And um, and now she just doesn't come to meetings. So I can't do, you know, anything about that. Um, but I can't make her sobriety my responsibility. It's her responsibility to do the work. 